Okay, Alejandro, so I've got to say I'm really pleased with your video, at least this first version. Um, number one, the organization. It is really nice to see how you transitioned from one point to another, but the video is helping you because we can clearly see when you um, change from one um, background to another, to put it some way, how you're changing uh, the different points that you are trying to make, like the intro, then the anecdote, then you start talking about emotional intelligence, then you identify certain elements related to emotional intelligence, and finally, you end up concluding and asking several questions, which is really nice. Um, so it's quite creative, the way you recorded the video, uh, which is giving me a lot of new ideas for next uh, workshops. Um, now, I wonder how this presentation is going to be face-to-face um, -face using PowerPoint. That would be really interesting. Now, um, let me see something here because it's going to be... Okay. So, um, I uh, attached to this message um, the rubric and this section about uh, the speaker which is related to the main points and the topic and uh, how you use how you use your support ideas pretty good I've got nothing to say there that's great um, the way you organize uh, the whole thing as I told you pretty good style style is good but I think I think it's here in style maybe we should have another um, element or aspect to evaluate but here in style we have to work a little bit on pronunciation which is going to be the next video Delivery, delivery is really nice. As I told you, you are a passionate person, and that's really good. Uh, your voice helps us feel what you, the topic you're talking about, about and that you really, really like it. Okay, length. Length is great. It lasted, I mean, the video lasted uh, about six minutes or something, which is within the range I asked you to record your video, which is really, really good. Um, well, congratulations, Alejandro. Now listen to the next video where I'm going to be... Um, uh, telling you what you should improve in connection to um, pronunciation and grammar.